بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم A third famous example uh, in the applications of uh, Newton's laws uh, is the inclined plane. We mean by inclined plane is uh, something like this. Uh, the, the plane is making an angle with the horizontal. This angle is uh, theta, and we place an object on this uh, uh, surface or this plane. Uh, by the way, we'll start with uh, the surface being frictionless frictionless uh, surface. So there is no friction or we ignore the friction force here. Later on, inshallah, we will discuss uh, the same example, but when we have a rough surface, friction force will be present there. Okay, uh, he is asking us to find, find the acceleration, find the acceleration. Of course, our object will be accelerating downward. Uh, so this is the first question. Second question, find the normal force of the surface on the object. Find uh, Fn. OK. First of all, as we have seen before, we need to uh, draw the free body diagram. What are the forces acting on our object? And also, what is the direction of the acceleration? Uh, the force is here. You can guess that the gravitational force is always there, and it is always vertically downward. Okay, so this is the force m g. Okay, and you notice that the direction is always vertically downward, and it makes an angle of 90 degrees with the horizontal. The other force is the force exerted by the incline on the object. And this is what we call the normal force. And the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. And this is why we call it normal. Normal means perpendicular. OK? So this is Fn. Is there any other force? No friction, uh, so because this is frictionless surface. We don't have a string or a rope, so there is no tension force, uh, no air resistance, meaning that these are the only forces acting on our, on our object. Uh, the acceleration is in this direction, so I'll draw. This is the acceleration. Uh, but notice something here, that the forces are not in the regular x and y direction we are used to. So let us define the x and y uh, axes. For inclined uh, problems, we have the convention that the y axis will be perpendicular to the uh, incline. Okay, so the normal force will be along the positive y axis. Okay, so this is my positive y. Okay, as I go down, this is my y-axis, and my x-axis will be parallel to the incline. Okay, so this is my x-axis. So this is my positive x up the incline. Negative x will be down the incline. Okay, the normal force will be with the positive y-axis. Okay, and this is the negative y-axis. As you can see, the, I don't have any problem with the normal force. The normal force is already along the positive y-axis. So I don't uh, have to worry about uh, decomposing the normal force. But now mg is not along the x-axis nor along the y-axis. So I have to decompose it. I would like to know what is the angle the gravitational force makes with uh, the axes, OK? So as you can see here, mg is perpendicular to the horizontal. So this is 90 degrees. Okay, This is theta. How much is remaining uh, for the triangle to complete 180? So this angle will be, this angle will be 90 minus theta. OK, so 90 theta, 90 minus theta. So the total angle for the uh, triangle is 180. 
at the same time, we know that the angle between the x-axis and the y-axis is 90 degrees. So this is 90. The whole angle here is the is 90. But this is 90 minus theta. How much is remaining here? This should be theta. Okay? So the total angle is 90. This part is 90 minus theta. So this should be theta. So 90 minus theta plus theta will give me will give me 90, which is the angle between the x and y axes. Having said this, now I would like to analyze the mg. I'll analyze it into two components. One component along the negative y, as you can see, one component here, OK? And another component will be also along the negative, the negative x, which is this one, OK? Let me draw it there. So this is my other component. So this component of the gravitational force is neighboring to theta, is the neighbor of theta. So this will be mg cosine theta, while the x component will be opposite to theta. Opposite to theta, this is why I'll give it mg sine theta, OK? By this, I have analyzed the gravitational force into two components. One component perpendicular to the inclined plane, and another component parallel to the inclined plane. So I have to remove this force because I'll use its components. I have mg cosine theta as the y component, and mg sine theta as the as the x component of the gravitational force. Uh, please, dear student, uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Every time you, you see an inclined plane, you go and resolve the forces. You convince yourself one time, OK? And then once you see uh, an inclined plane, uh, the gravitational force has two components. One component parallel to the incline and is given by mg sine theta, where theta is the angle the incline makes with the horizontal. Okay, and a negative y component, which is mg cosine uh, cosine theta. Okay, now let us apply Newton's second law in order to uh, answer uh, the questions here. Okay, so for my mass. Newton's second law says that F net, let us say along x axis, equals mAx. OK? I write it now in general. Let us apply it. What are the forces acting on my object along the x axis? I have only one force, which is mg sine theta. But what is the direction of this force? It is the negative x axis. OK? So this will be minus mg sine theta theta, it is the only force, so I leave it alone on this left side, equals mAx. So it is the mass multiplied by the acceleration. But the acceleration, I see it. It is also toward the left. And the left is the negative in my convention. OK, so this is minus m, mA. So the, mon the minus will cancel with the minus, and the mass will cancel with the mass, and I am left with Acceleration equals g sine theta. Uh, if you plug in the numbers, you will get acceleration equals 9.8 multiplied by sine 30, which is half. So this will give us 4.9 meter per second square as the magnitude of our acceleration. So the acceleration has a magnitude of 4.9 meter per second square. What is its direction? It is down the incline. Uh, let us answer the second part, find the normal force. We see the normal force is along the y-axis, so I have to write F net along the y-axis equals MAY. But there is no motion along the y-axis. Here, no motion. So the acceleration in this side is equal to zero. And the forces which I have here, Fn along the positive y, and the y component of the gravitational force along the negative y. So I have Fn positive because it is upward, and mg cosine uh, theta it is negative because it is down 
toward the negative y-axis, and this is equal to zero, and I am left with f n equals m g cosine cosine theta. So this is the uh, normal force, and we can uh, plug in uh, the numbers, and this will give us uh, 10 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by cosine cosine 30, and this is equal to 84.9, uh, and this is given in units of newtons. I hope with this example you understand uh, how to analyze the forces in the case of uh, inclined plane. Later on, inshallah, we'll introduce the friction and we'll do the same in the presence of the friction force. Thank you.